first and foremost, thank each and every one of you guys for being here tonight, man. I, I really appreciate it. This is a, a special show for, for me and my family and anybody that's ever wrestled in this hallowed arena. My granddad used to sell this place out every Friday night in the summer. 4,000 people in this place. And um, whether we've got four or 4,000 or not, we're going to kick everybody's ass and we're going to show them why we do have the best company in East Tennessee. And I can't think of a better crew of guys to come in here and do this with. So I'm going to applaud you. The following contest is a tag team match, and it is scheduled for one fall. Joe Kazan is, is continuing his grandfather's legacy. So the cool thing about it is it's a beautiful night. The star is going to be out nice and bright, and the people are going to be in a nice, cool September breeze watching professional wrestling, bringing back that legacy and that habit from Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, you know, with the history and everything like that, this big event, might as well have the biggest man that ever lived on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm the national champion, I'm the JCP champion, so it'd be really a dumb of Joe to have the guy that's like drawing the tickets, you know, putting butts in seats not to be here. Surreal, I think is probably the right word for it. I mean, this is where my trainer wrestled. This is where my dad's wrestled. It's just like a lot of legends that's walked the same dressing rooms I just were in, wrestled on this place. It's a nice little concept. It's a nice little throwback, a little homage to to my great grandfather, and I'm I'm excited to be a part of it. It's just it's cool. Historically speaking, it's real cool. The last time we talked, you, did, you just won United States Tag Team titles. We're here like 200 some days later. You lost the titles, you lost your partner. What happened? Life happens. Well, life happens. People do the things that they do. Times change, people needed to change and the powers in charge decided that it was time. So here we are and uh, I'm a singles act now, ladies and fellas, I guess, because I wrestle dudes, so. Oh, I feel like it's easier because you don't have to deal with as many people in matches. So uh, it's easier in that sense, but it's harder as far as the actual in-ring performance because instead of being able to tag out and catch my breath, you know, you're stuck. It's like you figure it out, pal. You know, either find out how to breathe or uh, die. We're the third longest reigning United States Tag Team Champions of all time behind the Midnight Express and, and the Steiners. So, um, Man, it was it was really incredible. It was a lot of fun. We went all over the country, uh, as far out west as uh, Utah to defend them, Florida, North Carolina. We were in nine or ten different states in a matter of those 200 days. Went to France, Netherlands. Got to wrestle at Pro Wrestling Holland. It was uh, it was an experience. It was at this nice little like club, almost a little concert venue stage. It was probably about 150 200 people standing room only bar they're all drunk hammered embarrassing themselves but man, it, was, it, it was it was cool to go over because i'd gone over and i do the little brute the bull thing and uh i get my entrance i walk out the big huge screen behind me's just got my name on a f waving american flag yeah that's cool the goal is to make as much money as possible in wrestling have as much fun doing it as long as my body holds out and uh, in the next year, you know, like, singles gold. <laughs> World title gold, you know, national title gold, whatever it is, I'm still with the NWA, like, that, the 10 pounds of gold, the, the World's Heavyweight Championship is my favorite title in all of professional wrestling, especially with the history and the lineage behind it. That's my goal as a professional wrestler is to hold that title. for about three to four months. It's definitely a big weight on my shoulders to carry the Kazana name. It's really cool to have a little brother that's in the business that, that I get to go train with. And training with him, there is that sibling rivalry. There, we're both athletic competitors. We've both played high-level football. It drives me to be better. It drives him to be better. Um, 
and then it kind of gives me a, a throwing dummy whenever I want to throw something around, you know? It's cool to see his progression because he's way better than he should be at this point. Cameraman, look at the most handsomest man that ever lived. That's right, that's me. Me, Kerry Morton, the uncrowned champ, daddy. Tonight I am wrestling Kerry Morton. The, apparently he calls himself the heavyweight now. I've asked my dad for this match. I wanted to do this match. I just feel sorry for him, genuinely. I just feel sorry for the kid. You know, he, he wants to get good. He wants to get a big push in this business, right? But he's stepping in the ring with the toughest opponent of his life. I mean, there's a lot of lineage to the Chill Halle Park and the Kazana name. But tonight, it's about Kerry Morton. And it's, I'm gonna feel bad when, when John's looking down on his grandson, KC, and he watches his son get beat. I was once in his shoes. I was once the young kid in the locker room. I was once the young boy in the back that all he wanted to do was just get an opportunity. He just wanted an opportunity to show out there and showcase what he's capable of doing. And that's what Casey's gonna do tonight. Uh, Kerry Morton, he's former junior world heavyweight champion. No, later down the road, he might, he might have the 10 pounds of gold. Who knows? I'm not gonna be the one to take it from him. So that'll be hopefully a dream scenario. For me, I would love to do that. I went out there, wrestled Kerry Morton. Hell, I beat Kerry Morton. I'm just in awe. It feels great because you can feel all the legends, all the talent, everybody that's wrestled there. Let's go, baby! What was it like having your having your dad out there with you? It's amazing. And Kerry had Ricky out there with him. It just you feel the history between them two having that history back in the day and me and Carrie starting what we have, it's gonna be a fun ride with it, let me tell you. Knowing that, I, I, you know, that my granddad ran here and knowing that, that both the kids, you know, AJ, AJ is, is, he's an NWA superstar now. Um, KC is going to be. Don Wright was here tonight. You know, I mean, he was one half of the most famous tag teams that ever came through Chilhowee Park Amphitheater. Uh, Wayne Rogers was here tonight. Another one that came through here. Uh, Dr. Tom, myself, we've all wrestled here. And um, to me, when, when I'm watching these, these kids walk back here, it's a little different when they're walking, you know, here in this amphitheater. It's kind of, they respect exactly what, what was done here. There's a lot there, boys. I'm super tired. I've, I've not slept for like three days. It was fun. It was fun tonight.